Hi friends, welcome to Car and Bike and today we come to you with a very very important car. This is the all new Maruti Suzuki Alto K10. You look at the Alto brand in totality, has been India's largest selling car for a very long time until 2020 because that is when the sales of this car was stopped because of BS6 regulations and now the car has made a comeback with a new BS6 engine, the K-series engine, BS6 compliant. Now the only thing that's changed here because a lot has changed in terms of design and features as well. Let's begin with the design, a completely new look on the Alto K10. So now when you compare this to the Alto 800, you will find a lot of difference in the way both the cars look, especially on the front, the face has completely changed. You see this new honeycomb grille, no use of chrome here, all black along with the body color. And yes, you have chrome on the Suzuki logo here. Probably DRLs are missing like you see them on the espresso they could have been given on the car here as well on the face of the car talking about the profile let's begin with the 13 inch wheels nice looking covers on them looks proportionate to the size of the car then you look at the mirrors here they don't get body color you get black color on the mirrors overall six colors to choose from out of which three are new on the new alto katen a nice looking silhouette on the car that's the case for the rear part of the hatchback as well looks quite fresh looks quite modern and of course looks quite different from what the car was earlier. Inside the cabin, the idea is to make it look more premium than earlier. So a lot more features have been given when compared to the earlier version of the car. The biggest is the new 7-inch Smart Play Studio touchscreen. It's nice to use. We've seen this before in many cars on the brand. And of course, it's compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. The other big change is the addition of buttons on the steering wheel. That's a nice touch. Uh, you get a nice cluster. It has a small MID screen to give you information. You get these power window switches below the screen here on the first row and of course you have other nice ergonomically designed elements as well on the first row of the new Alto K10. So yes, the 1.0 litre K-series petrol engine does its duty on the new Alto K10. 67 bhp of maximum power, 89 mm of peak torque but the good thing and the best thing about this car for which a lot of people buy this car is the fuel efficiency. So it doesn't matter if you buy the manual or AGS or automatic, you get at least 24 kilometers per liter. The good thing is that on the AGS, the mileage is even more than the manual, which is almost 25 kilometers per liter. Finally, the prices. The Alto K10 begins at 3.99 lakh rupees ex showroom and goes up to 5.83 lakh rupees ex showroom. In all, there are six trims to choose from four of which are manual and two are AGS or automatic. The automatics begin at 5.5 lakh rupees approximately and of course go up to 5.83 lakh rupees ex showroom. 